What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Kong with the Infinity Gauntlet. So, this will be pretty complicated. It's from I like a Korean poster. His hand in the air, he's screaming. So, his head's quite small down here, and the arm reaches the whole way up. There's lots of detail on that glove, so I'll try and simplify it a bit. Um, but we'll start with his face, anyway. So, yeah, maybe like his frowning forehead first, right? So, we'll just go for it. So, we'll curve it around. Big, big frown here. Down the back. Like that, right? And then he has that big sort of monkey brow. And it's all wrinkly and stuff. Okay. Other side then. So we've got some bumps here in the middle. And then it curves. Down around the back. So it's like two big fingers just like pushing together. Like so. Right, so that's like his forehead. So basically you got eyes in the in the sockets in under each of these. He's looking up into the sky, so let's go this way, right? Eyeball. Kinda like a lemon or like an almond sort of shape and he's like looking up like and back right so we'll go an ellipse sort of a thing at the top of his eye there and then the pupil so they're real exaggerated like he's looking up like It's like he's looking up the glove, kind of, like in the, right, in like the side of his eye or something. And then we got like eyelid lines and some wrinkles and bags underneath his eye as well. So his other eye is like behind his nose. So we're going to go with this like bumping shape for his nose first, right? Do do do, and you got those big, big old nostrils of his. The dark nostrils. Can't see this one as much. And then just like the bridge of his nose, kind of here somewhere. And then his eye comes out from behind the nose here. And then again, he's kind of like looking up. back up there and then we got like some eyelid lines and stuff and wrinkles around the eye <clears throat> okay so his top lip sort of bumps out this way right comes down the side of his mouth And on the other side then. His top lip. Then there's all like wrinkles and stuff on the side of his mouth there. Right, so then. Opening for his mouth, I would say, here. side of his mouth 
here and this is all like skin and stuff all being stretched <clears throat> and it's like his top lip line is here and his gums kind of no wrinkles on this because he is a gorilla and then his bottom lip curves around here It's all hairy then underneath his lip there. But we got his fangs and stuff, right? So big fangs sticking out of his mouth. Either side. And then teeth, flat teeth up the top. It's all shadowy in there, so it's hard to make out. And then some fangs sticking up here. Again, some flat teeth. And the other side of all that. Some more going back into his mouth, it looks like that way. And there should be some molars here, but you can't really see them. But I'm going to draw them in, I think. And then, like the back of his throat back there somewhere. Okay, so then his beard, right? So it's very big. And it goes all the way down to there. And then up the side of his face, into his cheek. And then his cheek goes around and touches his eye there. Okay, quite hairy. <clears throat> and then the other side comes down to his like square jaw sort of area there. All the way down to there. And then I think it like goes all the way around his face and joins his hair and his head and everything. So it goes all the way up that way. his mouth and everything and then he just has all sorts of bags on his face here and his cheek and then textures on his beard just make it look all furry his ear then just coming out behind his beard here real small and lines on the inside like that and then top of his head kind of goes pointy sort of back but it's kind of hairy as well
and then his neck real wide. So his arm and his shoulder goes up this way. So like his shoulder nearly rubs off his ear, kind of, it's real close, right? So shoulder muscle goes up and disappears into his bicep, right? And then his chest muscle goes down like so. Right, you like have, there's lots of fur and stuff all here. This is like his neck. Right, so that's like the center of his chest and that's his shoulder. All right, so like his armpit and stuff would be like here and the other side of his chest goes down that way. Right, all stretched out and stuff. <clears throat> and his back comes down here, all furry, okay? We just get the main body shapes in and then we can change everything <clears throat> as we go. Yeah, so like his chest just disappears there and then there's like just basically armpit lines and stuff. This way. Like his ribs and things all here. Maybe like a nipple, sort of. So then his other chest muscle is kind of higher up, right? So his like his trapezius is normal sort of size there. High up. And then his other chest muscle is kind of standard sort of shape I guess all here so you've got another sort of nipple in there then and then his other shoulder real furry there and then his tricep his bicep and body then so it's like his bicep and then his big monkey forearm going that way okay and all textures on all that his body there and he has those like t-rex scar things three of them coming across his chest here Wherever he got slashed with Godzilla did it, maybe. I can't remember. <clears throat> okay. Right. That's his bicep. So that's like his body position. So his hand goes all the way up this way. Right, so. Let's see now. This is tricky. So his bicep, so that like the things wrapped around his bicep, right? So we got this strap. We'll just get the main sort of bits in. So it kind of like bumps a little bit on the edges and then goes around. And then it goes down in it's got some clips or something on the edge and then it comes up it's got like a mechanical part like a curved circular part here again i'm just gonna make it a little bit easier than what i'm looking at because you know, this is like CGI, so like computers do this. Right? And like his arm just keeps going into there. And we can see like a bit of his elbow 
It looks like it's actually photoshopped onto it. It probably is. <clears throat> and then his bicep will go. Keep going. Sort of into there. Okay, now the forearm then comes out from this and it's it's nearly completely wrapped. So this curve line comes around here. I'm I'm just getting the shape and then I'll add mechanical details into it. Okay. So this goes right up to where the thumb is, I think. Okay. Up that way. So the hand then, right, so this, this is, there's some extra sections actually before I, so like there's some extra bars and things inside here. section then here like that and then like the back of his hand goes into these fingers right so it's kind of furry going that way and the bottom of the palm of his hand is like looks like it's here somewhere like a W sort of shape into the thumb under there, right? So that's like his wrist bone. And there's all fur and stuff in here. Okay, so the most complicated part is probably the, all those fingers. So we'll just get all the detail as much as we can done in on this thing. And then we will go back to the fingers, right? So I'm gonna just add all these like extra sort of curving lines and boxes and edge lines to all these mechanical shapes so i'm just like trying to break them up a bit <clears throat> right and add like little boxes down the side like this just to make them look as mechanical as you as you can and then like this thing has like circles inside You know, and then like little sort of extra ones. You know, like buttons and symbols and everything. I think there's like another one here. So you just want to like break them up. Sometimes like a shadow or two and like edge lines to these following the shape mostly making it look kind of robotic, you know. Break up the space as much as you can. Like that, right? Kind of making it look robotic, and then you color it in like black and um, yellow, like from the movie. <clears throat> right, so the gloved hand, right? So this is gonna go like this on the top, right? And each of these is going to be a finger and I'll kind of simplify them a little bit, right? So we'll just bump them across. 
this way. And then the, each of these steps down like that. And then change direction. Like to these boxes down here. And then the thumb as well. Yeah, it just kind of like steps down around here. Goes back into the glove there somewhere. Then you have like the back of his hand, like his fingers in there. Like folded around somewhere. And you just add your lines. Going that way. And then we'll just break this up as best we can into these sort of 3D shapes. Just adding all these sort of knuckle lines and stuff. And of course, there's like way more detail on the actual thing. Like all these wheels and everything. You just want to make it look a bit mechanical. Right, and then, so he's got like a pad on the back here. Goes back that way, and then goes down behind the back of his hand. And there's like another section here. And then it sticks out this way. So now it's got like plate edges and stuff. And like his hands all furry and stuff inside here. <clears throat> so you just try to keep sort of adding little details and like scratches maybe and stuff on it. Kind of like that. And then like I'll just detail up some of these edge lines. But that's it. How to draw Kong with the Infinity Gauntlet. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.